Thou still unraveled bride of stickiness, thou round thing of darkness and easy ripping. Silvio the Grip, who canst thus express a cinematic tale more easy from thy tapiness. When digital video this generation shall waste, thou shalt remain in midst of gaffer's belt and student filmmakers to whom thou sayest, gaffer's tape is truth, truth tape, and that is all ye know on set and all ye need to know. Everybody knows from red green on down that there's nothing in the world that a home handyman can't fix, improve, or otherwise make better with a liberal application of everyone's favorite tool, duck or duct tape. And I don't care which one it actually is because I've read compelling arguments for both. And it was my first true great love until my heart was stolen by another, something that's vastly superior to duct or duct tape in every way except price. It's beefier filmmaking cousin gaffer's tape. This stuff is in basically every movie ever made, and there's not a grip, gaffer, or set deck guy or girl that can't lay their mitts on a roll in under 10 seconds, not if they're worth their salt anyways. It's got a lot of advantages over duct tape. It's strong as hell. It can be ripped cleanly with your fingers and come clean, which is really handy when you're 20 feet up a ladder taping gels onto a skylight. It's matte black, meaning that you can have it in the background of a shot in something you're actually shooting and hide it in amongst the shadows and it won't reflect light back like this silver shit. But most importantly of all, because it uses a different adhesive, it's strong and sticky, but it comes back up cleanly, not leaving no residue behind and also not peeling paint off the walls of your friend's mom's kitchen who lets you shoot in it, meaning that you won't have to repaint it the next day. It's also waterproof, which means you can use it outdoors in the rain. It's amazing tape. Gaffer's tape is as close as it gets to a Swiss army knife of filmmaking. It's a little bit more expensive than duct tape, costing around eight bucks, but it's absolutely indispensable, as indispensable as lights or a microphone or a camera, or that's probably an exaggeration, but that doesn't mean that it's not the coolest stuff in the world. You can buy it at filmmaking supply shops anywhere or on the internet. Tell them that we sent you, and then check out our Twitter at wtwitter.com slash the substream. Or click our face on the Facebook, where we can be friends. We have some friends, you could be one of them. I wanna go and look at you in your bathing suit. I don't even care if you're a boy or a girl. If you're drinking beer, that's even better. Although, if your mom is your friend on Facebook, I can understand why you wouldn't put those pictures up. Also, you can check out our other libraries of other cool film videos where we talk about how to, different film guide, or tell you what movies are crappy and which ones not to watch. So check back again next week for more videos. Be nice to your mom, kiss your grandma if she's still alive, and tell her I said hi.